Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Going to prison sucks under any circumstances, but there is a chance that you might end up in a prison that has some of the weirdest rules around. The world is full of surprising and bizarre prisons, from the prisons with physical abuse, severe overcrowding, and cannibalism, to luxurious and ecological paradises. Check out these 10 most unusual prisons in the world. Number 10. Bastoy Prison, Norway Prisoners serving time at Bastoy Prison in Norway are more likely to be sunning themselves on a beach or strolling through a pine forest than sitting in a cramped cell. It's no surprise, then, that Bastoy has been called the world's nicest prison. Bastoy sits on a small island and is home to 115 prisoners. Some of the inmates have committed very serious and violent crimes. Bastoy is the largest low-security prison in Norway, but it's more of a community than a prison. Prisoners live in shared homes with their own bedrooms and shared facilities. They can wear their own clothes, visit the prison shop, library, or church. In their spare time, they can go fishing, play football, or work out at the gym. Sounds great? <laughs> There's more! The prison has a movie room and a weekly agenda of courses, lectures, events, and concerts. This sounds better than the living conditions of many people living in third world countries. They even run the island's ferry service, but nobody seems tempted to alter course and make a break for freedom. Not surprisingly, critics say Bastoy is more a holiday camp than a correctional facility, but Norwegian authorities insist this softer approach is more effective. Number 9. Naked Prisons, Zimbabwe You just saw what prisons in the developed world look like. Now, we're going to show you what prisons are like in the poorest part of the world. Inmates in Zimbabwe's prison and correctional services facilities are forced to stay naked. Yes, you heard that right. The prisons there are so underfunded that it was failing to procure uniforms for inmates. If people go for a visit to meet the inmates inside, they'll often witness that on a number of occasions, some prisoners go naked because there are inadequate resources in terms of funds sent to the prison department. Not all of the inmates are naked. Some have clothes on, but that too, completely torn apart. There were also reports that there are male prisoners working in the female prisons because there isn't enough staff. Isn't that crazy? Number 8. The Dark Knight Prison, Rwanda you probably remember the underground prison Bane left Batman in in Dark Knight Rises. If you think that place is just fiction, then you are in for a shock. Check out this real hell on Earth, where prisoners actually kill other prisoners and feed on the dead. Gitarama Prison in Rwanda is said to be one of the deadliest in the world. The conditions in this prison are a nightmare for one to stay in. Around six to 7,000 inmates are locked inside, whereas the maximum capacity of the jail is only 600. Can you believe it? The prisoners of Kitarama Prison spend their time mostly standing due to a shortage of space. But what's more troubling is the fact that the inmates frequently indulge in deadly fights and eat the dead bodies of the prisoners killed to stay alive. Not only this, but reports say that seven to eight prisoners die daily in Kitarama Jail due to pathetic conditions. The prisoners more often remain barefoot and suffer from gangrene. Many human rights organizations have protested against the deplorable conditions inside the jail, but haven't succeeded in improving the situation there. Number 7. Cebu Prison Nothing says entertainment quite like murderers, drug dealers, and sexual offenders dancing to pop music in unison. It is highly likely that you've seen at least one of the viral videos posted online from Cebu Prison in the Philippines. Their thriller video was ranked fifth in Time Magazine's list of top 10 viral videos. The dancing is the unnatural evolution of the exercise program at the prison. While most facilities are content to let felons run around, play basketball, lift weights, or knife each other, the warden at Cebu wanted discipline. And after being inspired by a scene from the Shawshank Redemption, he felt that music needed to be involved. Around 1,500 prisoners can contribute to the performances, and they also tend to perform at charitable or cultural events and get paid for their work. The prison also does live shows, after which spectators can have their picture taken with some of the inmates and buy souvenir t-shirts. Number 6. Sonora, Mexico 
Life behind bars is all about seeking the little luxuries, from cigarettes and sweets down to little more than a softer pillow. It means that a prisoner can turn a tidy profit if he has access to something that his fellow inmates want. And nobody knows this fact of prison life better than an enterprising inmate at Mexico's Sonora. Mexican jails are notorious for overcrowding, corruption, and rioting. A surprise inspection in the prison revealed the presence of 19 prostitutes, 100 plasma televisions, two sacks of marijuana, and 100 cockerels for cockfighting. The discovery in the prison in Acapulco came as police prepared to transfer the inmates to a maximum security jail. The officers also found six female inmates living in the male section of the prison, and two peacocks. The place must have been a zoo turned into a prison. Number 5. King Cheng Prison We're not sure what's your idea of a prison, but we're sure that you never expected to see one like King Cheng Prison in China. This place is filled with fish ponds and orchids, which makes it a great spot to relax and meditate. We guess the high-ranking government officials, who are the majority of the inmates in this place, can use their time to think of the things they did wrong and have a change of heart, or peacefully make more plans to commit more fraud on a bigger scale. But we wonder how bad they feel about the things they did. They're treated like royalty, eating fresh fruit and enjoying their HDTV and the misty hills outside the prison grounds. Prison? But we guess you can call it that since they're not allowed to go out. Number 4. The Two-Man Prison Sark is a tiny island measuring just 2.1 square miles, with a tiny population of 600 people. It is surprising that an island this small even has a prison, let alone the smallest one in the world. The decidedly compact building comprises just two windowless cells, measuring 6 by 6 and 6 by 8 and a three-foot-wide corridor that runs the length of the building in front of them. Creature comforts in the cells include wood-slatted beds and thin mattresses. This most modest of jailhouses was built in 1856, with prisoners held in it for a maximum of two days under judicial powers granted to the island in the 16th century. If the crime is more severe or the punishment needed lasts for longer, the offender is shipped off to the bigger clink on neighboring Channel Island, Gersney. The prison can hold just two people at a time, which isn't less considering the small population of the country. One of the earliest Sark prisoners was a young servant girl who was thrown in jail because she had stolen a pocket handkerchief from her mistress. Poor little girl. Number 3. San Pedro Prison it's hard to believe this could be considered a luxurious prison, but, in, but San Pedro Prison in Bolivia is actually quite special compared to others in the region. The place is set up as a thriving community, with appointed leaders and even neighborhoods and families that are allowed to coexist in this place. There are about 3,000 inmates, and all of them are allowed to work and rent or buy their accommodations within the prison grounds. If that wasn't enough, there's even a hotel inside the prison for any relative that wants to visit, or any curious guest who's intrigued by what goes on inside this uncommon place. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. Who knows? We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. This seems like a photoshopped image as we couldn't find anything relating to it on the internet, but we get the idea behind it. Many researchers have argued that a prison should be made where both males and females could blend in together and share the same facilities and have the same agenda. Currently, there aren't any prisons that have this kind of rule, but in 1987, both genders were put together in the same Illinois prison. It was for an experiment, and it actually yielded interesting results. One inmate told a reporter that the male prisoners started behaving more nicely when women arrived. Maybe a prison for everyone is not a bad idea. What do you guys think? Number 1. Prison Paradise for Pirates There are more than 1,000 convicted Somali pirates in prisons around the world. Some of them end up in a UN-funded jail on the tiny island nation of Seychelles. Seychelles is one of the few regions of the world that prosecutes and imprisons pirates. It is estimated that Seychelles lost 4% of its GDP due to piracy, so imprisoning them is important. Montag Pazi Prison is like no other in the world. 
The prison blocks sit high up on a hillside, overlooking a green canopy of trees sliding down into an azure coral ocean. There are 500 prisoners here, among them more than 100 Somali pirates, either awaiting trial for piracy or already serving their sentences. These pirates can be seen dressed in Guantanamo orange prisoner uniforms, busy working different jobs around the prison. The prisoners have some of the most beautiful views, which helps them rethink the decisions they made. Which one of these prisons do you think is the most unusual? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.